Master Shots. It's a new feature that was introduced with the DJI Mavic Air 2S. And in today's video, we show you what it is and how to use it. What is going on everybody? Welcome to the video. So today we're gonna to cover a new feature we saw with the DJI Mavic Air 2S called Master Shots. Essentially what this does is it takes basic drone movements and compiles them into a montage. This is great for beginners that are trying to maybe learn drone movements, kind of see how they operate, and be able to post something on social media if you find a cool subject or a cool area that you wanted to shoot some footage on. So hopefully this video will help you with that. So today we're gonna to cover, of course, what it is, which we just did. We're gonna look at how to access it, how to use it, and of course, how to edit the file once it's completed the master shot. So with that being said, let's go ahead and just jump right in. To get into the master shots mode, you're gonna tap either the little film strip above your shutter button, or if you're in camera mode, you've got the little white squares there, but uh, tap on that and you're gonna tap on master shots. Now, in order for master shots to work, you do have to have at least 10 GPS or at least a strong GPS signal, as well as the drone has to be in the air. If it's not in the air, it's gonna say cannot enter master shots, the drone's not in flight, so you will need to launch it into the air. Once you've done that, then you can come into this menu, tap on master shots, and you'll get a little foot notification here that says based on the subject and distance, the aircraft will automatically shoot a number of clips and create a master shot. So basically it's gonna do a bunch of uh, kind of like, I would say beginner or very basic drone movements. It's gonna capture a bunch of them and then compile them together in a montage. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click the little arrows in the top right hand corner of that, um, that uh, kind of the tutorial there. And we're gonna find a subject to select on. Now you'll notice that there's a little plus signs coming up that you can use to quickly grab a subject, you see right there. Or if you're not getting any type of plus like that, you can tap and drag on the screen like this and that will allow you to manually select a subject. So you can see that we've selected those rail cars right there. So. Let's go ahead and fly around a little bit. You will want to give yourself a little bit of distance, especially if the, this is the first time that you're trying it. The Mavic Air 2S uh, does have obstacle avoidance, but of course you wanna to try to mitigate as much of the problem as you can. So what we're gonna do is let's just fly around. Let's see what we got here. We'll actually just use, just for example, you use the peak of this, kind of this uh, mountain range here. You can see we're getting a little plus sign on that car down there. So. We're gonna actually use this little tree that's on the edge. That's gonna be our subject for this demonstration. So we'll just move in real close, kind of get yourself in position. And because we're not getting a manual plus or a plus, we can manually select that as our subject. So I'm gonna just tap and drag. And you can see that we now have uh, our subject selected. And you'll notice as soon as we do that, that we'll get an estimated flight time with two minutes and 20 seconds. That's how long it's going to take to uh, do that, of course, that could uh, go longer if you've got a little bit of heavy wind or anything like that. It could go a little bit longer, so make sure you give yourself some leeway. But you'll also notice down in the bottom left, your mini map has popped up, or at least enlarged a little bit, and you've got your subject on there with the green brackets and the green star, but you've also got kind of an, an opaque uh, rectangle showing you your flight area for this particular master shot, and that will change depending on your parameters. You can change those parameters by tapping the little arrow next to the time. And you can see that we've got uh, width, we've got length, and we've got height. And if you click on one of those or tap on it, you've got small, you've got medium, and you've got large. And you can change that. You'll notice on the side as you move things around that it will update that mini map and show you the zone that the drone is going to fly. I'm going to keep mine at least on the width to small because I don't want it flying over that road as much as possible. Uh, it actually looks like that's gonna be our length. So we'll, we'll give it a medium width. We'll click the check mark. And then as far as length, that's the one that I want set to small. I don't want it flying over the road if it can help it. And again, we'll click the check mark and we will leave the height as large. But once again, if you change that, you can see that our estimated flight time adjusted about 20 seconds. So if we go back to, we'll go back to large and we're back up to two minutes and 20 seconds. So. Once we have that, what we're going to do is you're just going to tap on where it says start. Three, two, Watch out for surrounding. Three, one, a, two, one. You can see that the drone is now moving into position. And once it does, if we tap on our mini map, 
it's going to show us our designated flight path in black lines. And that'll come up here in just a moment. You can see that I've already done one of these master shots and you can kind of see the route that it took. So there you go. Once the drone has moved into position, you can see that those black lines are indicating the path that it is going to take. So we'll go through, let that finish. As of right now, we can only shoot master shots in 1080p, uh, but DJI is notorious for adding new resolutions or new frame rates, things like that with future updates. I don't know that there will for this one, but again, uh, they are notorious for doing that. So as of right now, we're stuck with 1080p resolution. It does save an H.264 file format as well as 30 frames per second. So those that information might be useful for you guys that are trying to make sure that you guys have your timelines all set up. So again, we'll just let it go through this. Looks like it's going to shoot a total of about 10 shots. We're about 28% through. So we'll let that finish up. Now, there are times that if it does detect an obstacle or you uh, move the joystick or you press the pause button on your remote, it's going to stop your master shot. So you want to be sure that you're not touching any of those while it does the thing unless you need to hit the pause button. As far as detecting an obstacle, I've seen it a couple times where I think it caught its own leg in the frame and detected that as its own obstacle. I'm not exactly sure, but it immediately stopped the... Um, the master shot. So I'm not sure what was going on with that, but it's only happened a handful of times. So hopefully that gets addressed in a future update if it is a known issue. So we're about 50% through. We are cutting it pretty close on battery, but I think we'll be okay. So the drone has now landed, so we're good there. But if you want to change the template that came with it, because some of them are pretty cheesy, not gonna lie, that you can actually go into your album by clicking the little play button just below your shutter button. So if you tap on the play, this is gonna open up the album on the aircraft and you can see your master shot right there with the little, uh, the take board with the star in it. You can tap on it. So this is the one that it gave me. Not sure why it chose a cyber version because this is definitely not anything cyber related, but you can change it by tapping the little wand in the bottom right hand corner. So if we tap on that, you've got all of their pre-mades. You may need to download some of these if they're not already cached. So if you don't have a data connection, some of these might be unavailable, but you can basically go through this list here. If you don't want any sound because you have your own that you're gonna add to it, you can of course tap on the original and then tap on the check mark and that will save the file with no theme already on it. But if you want to go through their themes, you can tap on Epic, you can tap on Cheerful, it'll fast forward you through their list and you can choose one that you like. So if we wanted to just change, let's just do the sunshine for example, we'll tap on that. 22 seconds. So not too bad of a one. Like I said, if you want one that they've got, once you find the one that you do want, you just tap on the little check mark and that will save it to the album. So that's just a quick rundown of how to go in, how to use the master shots, how to edit the master shot once it's completed and uh, give you some pretty cool uh, stuff to work with on for social media. And that's all there is to it. Like I said, it's super useful for beginners, especially if they're trying to learn different drone movements. I would highly encourage you guys to try to mimic those as just start with the what you see in the master shots because once you can learn to master those shots in a manual type of flying environment, you're gonna have much cleaner, much nicer looking footage than what you'd get with the master shot feature. But it's still a great feature to at least start with. Now alongside that, I firmly believe that less is more when it comes to uh, input or joystick control input. So you're gonna want to learn to move your drone very subtly, very nicely and very smoothly in order to get the best looking footage. Anyways, that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you liked the video. I hope you got something out of it. If you did, be sure to like, share, and of course, subscribe. 
Reach out to me in the comments if you guys have any feedback or any types of questions. I'll do my best to get to those as soon as I can. Aside from that, if you want to help us out in other ways, head on over to shop.helpcloud.com. Got tons of new merch over there, just like this hat that you see right here on there. We've got those, we've got stickers, we've got pens, we've got all sorts of different types of merch, so be sure to check those out. Anyways, thanks again for watching. Thank you guys again for your support, and we will see you on the next one. Peace. <gasps>